They're trying to figure out how to make a shift and they're coming here and other, you know, YouTube channels and podcasts for advice. And you're doing the right thing if you're doing that. So lesson learned again, <laughs> another week, another outage. Uh, it's weird that they, they occurred so close together. Um, but I guess we may see more of these now. And also people are more sensitive to them. And in many cases, outages have occurred before where they didn't hit the press, you know, for whatever reason. I think the, the hyperscalers were able to contain them and, you know, made their, you know, customers sign NDAs and things like that. So they couldn't talk to the press about, you know, some of the problems they have with their particular product. There's all kinds of wacky stuff like that that's been out there for a long period of time. I've seen it firsthand. Uh, however, um, we just need to respond to this. So let, we can, I guess we can get in a big circle and everybody, you know, kick AWS or kick Microsoft, uh, of course, when they're down, uh, outage, get it. Uh, however, I think uh, at the end of the day, this is just going to be a lesson learned. So in other words, how do we change your behavior? How do we do something better? You know, how do we move to platforms that are going to bring more value back to the business, which is going to be difficult. Uh, if we're moving everything to a single cloud provider like AWS or Microsoft or Google, um, that's a very single focus. It's a very simple thing to do. Uh, and it's popular. Everybody won't, won't uh, knock you for it if you're making those movements. But right now I'm seeing that's not necessarily where we're going to find the value moving forward. We're, ended up, we're going to end up spending, you know, five to ten times the amount of money on running the same workloads on those platforms versus looking at some alternatives. Now, that means we're going to move to more heterogeneity and more operational complexity, and that's going to cost money. You're going to have to be a little smarter to run multi-clouds and things like that to make it work, but there really kind of is no choice. Certainly, if you're moving or deploying your AI workloads on these systems, you're going to have to think long and hard about where the best place and the best bang for the buck and the best of breed technology to run those things, or else you're going to be paying a tremendous amount of money uh, and certainly... You know, AI systems compared to their traditional counterparts are going to be 10, sometimes 20 times the amount of cost to run them. So we have to think long and hard in terms of where those workloads are going to run.